it's four in the morning. But I went ahead and trimmed the brisket a little bit competition style. I kind of uh, got tired of trimming the silver skin over here. So got rid of the deckle, which is the fat between the flat and the point. And then check this out. I can flip it over. I got rid of the fat that's on the uh, point, and then I left the fat on the flat. All right, we're gonna be injecting it with some Cattle Pro, which I already have over here. And then we're gonna do some Cash Cow with some Money Rub. And then before we wrap, we're gonna do some Happy Ending. We're gonna go ahead and use these Max Large Briquettes for the brisket, and we're gonna be using the slow ones here. We're gonna put some water in here, and then a water pan under the brisket. This is the 26 inch kettle we're using today. Guys, check out the size of these briquettes right here. Look at that. Big and dense. That's what we want right there. And I got some, I got some hickory wood in there, some cherry wood. That's what we're gonna be using. Then I'm lighting a few briquettes. We're gonna do the minion method. So it's gonna start burning down here. Go that way. All right, guys, the brisket's in. Now, what I did is I put a few pieces of wood under here, right there. If you can see that, to prevent puddling. I want to get a good bark so what we do is you put a few pieces of wood on the bottom that way the the water and the all the moisture doesn't set in one spot so it drips down all right guys good morning now it's good morning it's like nine o'clock this has been on for about three hours let's see let's see the charcoal Ooh, it looks good. Hasn't even gone halfway. It's keeping at 275. Now, check out the brisket. As you can see, it's drying out a little. We have a little puddle there, but it's fine. So let's go ahead and spritz it. We want to build this stronger bark. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz it generously. And this is just water. I'm not using anything else. Just water. So there you go. Looking good. Looking good. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's see. It's been about, I want to say four hours since I put through this on here. As you can see, it's running a little hot. Uh, the A lot of the coals already lit, so it's been running probably at 300. Let's see. Let's get it closed. But it's looking good. It, it doesn't have the bark I want yet. But it's getting there. I'm gonna have to leave for an hour and a half. I think when I come back, it'll be ready to wrap. I've been gone for probably two hours. So let's go check on the check on the meat. Let's see here. It's at 300 on this side. So, ooh, that's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna be ready to be wrapped. I'm gonna spray it down one more time, and then we're gonna wrap it from there. Looks good. All right, guys, I think this is ready to wrap. As you can see, it's running a little hot, but it's okay. It's still going to be tender. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. Now, these will be stuck under there. Just take them off, all right? And then you go. Ooh, that's juicy. We're going to put it there. Now we're going to rehydrate it. We have beef broth and the rest of the injection. Now, you want to be careful and not, and not ruin the bark. Don't rush through it. Just let it seep in. <clears throat> All right, just wait a minute. Let it soak in there. And then let's keep on going. So I think we're good. That's enough. You know what? Let's pour some on the bottom. Let's go ahead and wrap. Be careful with the bark. You don't want to ruin the bark. And I don't know what temp it was at. I didn't temp it. I just went by luck. I, it looks like it's about probably 160, 170. Let's go ahead and throw it back on for another 
I don't know, probably another three hours. Then we'll probe it. And that'll be that. It's been on there probably around 11 hours. Let's see where it's at. It's at 202 on the flat. Oh, the point's just buttery. Leave it for another probably 15 minutes. Want the flat to get to around 207. This smells really good. We went on a walk. You could smell this all the way to the corner. So as you can see, check it out. I only, ooh, that's hot. Okay, I only used like about one bag of Jealous Devil Charcoal. So these briquettes actually burn pretty clean. And I only used, I didn't even use 10 pounds. I think there's about three pounds in there. So they're nice big, big briquettes. I like it. It's come to temp. We're gonna go ahead and pull it. It's pretty, it's pretty hot. What I'm gonna do, cause I don't want it to continue cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and make little rips right here. Let some steam out. I wish you can smell that. It's it so good. good. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So it's got a little jiggle to it. You'll see it when I unwrap it. Right, we'll come back when I'm slicing it. I'll show you guys and hopefully it's good. We'll see. We're gonna separate the point from the flat and you just separate it down the middle. Seems tender so far. Ooh, it has a big smoke ring. I'll show you guys. How's, how's that? Let's see. Ooh, Ooh has a little smoking. accordion. Yeah, look at that pronounced smoke ring right there. Oh yeah, looks tender. This is good. I used Big Papa Smokers Money Rub and uh, Cash Cow. I didn't do the finishing rub, which is a uh, happy ending. I think this is salty enough, it's good. Stay tuned for other videos, and we're gonna eat up.